So here's a video that shows the components of the Briggs Max Noise that I'm currently building. Here's uh, here's the name of it. Um, got into a little more uh, complexity than I originally anticipated. Um, here's our uh, one main component, high compression cylinder head. Uh, you can see uh, my friend at ACDC Welding did a lot of uh, building up to increase the compression ratio and uh, we got a little bit of porosity in it there but uh, that's not uh, not really you know his problem uh, the engine components uh, made of aluminum they're difficult to weld because the oil gets right in there and he did everything he could to try to get it out but in the end he did a really good job with it and uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with it painted it up a nice uh, purple color there just to make it different than my other engines there's my uh, exhaust rocket pipe. I had to weld a flange on the, the uh, stub coming out of the engine. The pipe was originally made for Tecumseh back in the late 60s by my father. So I'm resurrecting it here. She'll look pretty sweet and it's going to be anything but quiet. Uh, crankshaft, it's not out of a 70, it's out of another one but uh, the reason was the 70 crankshaft was uh, just too short to uh, mount my flywheel on the bottom. I had to grind uh, in the counterweight to clear the camshaft lobe. Um, here's the camshaft here. I left the intake lobe stock and uh, heavily modified the exhaust lobe. You can see I uh, it's got a little bit more lift, but it's got a lot more duration. Um, not sure if you can see this or not. Uh, in the cylinder bore there, uh, there's a line about 5 8 inch down. That's where the exhaust valve will start to open on power stroke. Uh, the other component we had to modify quite a bit was the flywheel. Uh, the reason for this, I'm going to be running the stock flywheel on top of the engine because this is a, a vertical pull type starter. I wanted to keep it that way, so I'm putting a, a heavy uh, rototiller flywheel on the bottom of the engine. So to do that, I had to cut all the fins off it. And then, once again, my friend at ACDC Welding uh, welded up uh, a collar on it there with a uh, keyway in it to drive it. So uh, and that proved to be uh, a little more fun than we anticipated too, due to the uh, welding, you know, steel to cast iron. But but we got her all welded up there. I still have to shave it down a little bit lengthwise, uh, just due to the crankshaft length, uh, making it all fit. But uh, so that so this engine's going to have two flywheels: the normal lawnmower flywheel on top, and uh, that one down on the bottom uh, instead of a blade. I don't run any of these engines with blades because uh, I'm going to try to rev this one up to about uh, 5400 if it'll do it. Just to get her to... She'll purr like a kitten. Well, actually, more like roar like a lion. That's the objective. But uh, So the idea here is to uh, make as much noise as possible out of a 9 cubic inch uh, Briggs lawnmower engine. Anyways, I'll get it going as soon as I can.